Okay, carrying on from the, uh, or carrying on with the Substance Painter tutorials. I'm um, just going to have a look at being able to actually paint in polygons. So, let me just switch this layer off. What I'm going to do is create a new fill layer. Um, I'll just have color, yeah, I'll just have color information on this. Um, let's just set a base color. Let's just set something nice and bright so we can see what we're doing. And then I'm going to go in, right click and create a black mask on that. So one of the things we can do within Substance Painter, um, we've we've kind of looked at um, working with IDs. Um, so I've actually got IDs on this as well. So I could go in mask with color selection. And I could pick a color and we could pick a certain point on this. Okay, so it could be gray, for example. We could limit the uh, um, material application to certain certain areas of a model. Let's click that off. Let's take this color selection off. Um, we know that we can paint inside these as well, so I can just get a brush. Um, I can paint on with whatever brush settings. Uh, if we're painted in white, paint out. If we change this to black, okay, oh, we can erase it as well. Uh, we can paint in semi-transparency uh, brushes by having a lower value. So essentially, like painting in with a flow. So um, there are a couple of ways you can do that. Another way is to use this tool here, which is a polygon fill. So what this allows us to do, we click that on, you can see it puts a wireframe over the model. And we've got a couple of different options in here. We've got triangle fill, polyfill, uh, we've got mesh fill, and we've got color on there. So if I go through, uh, say, mesh fill, we're just going to apply, essentially, this um, this color to all the mesh itself. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Or I'm just going to work with triangles here, uh, rather than polygon fills. Um, in fact, let me just actually work with polygon fills. So what we could do as well is we could go through and actually paint in certain areas. So if I wanted to grab these and just double click in here, now I can kind of paint over. Um, just finding areas like this, if you just drag, it starts selecting other areas around. So I'm just going to be careful. So there, I've painted that on there. So if I get rid of that, I just change the brush to black and then I can paint that out. Okay, so we could do something like that. And then we're just showing through um, this particular material onto just those selected polygons. Okay, so really handy. Another useful thing we can do with this is we can set it to UV. And if I just go into the UV islands, F3. So um, say I wanted this to be along this the base of this chest, if I wanted this to be a different colour or a darker wood or a lighter wood, we could use this, this kind of technique. Um, so what I can do is I can just go in and just with UV I can just double click on these UV shells. Uh, one here and one here. And then we can apply that selection just to those polygons Okay, within the UV shells. Which is really handy if you just want to do it to a certain place much quicker than, than painting on. Uh, to come out of polygon fill, we just go back to the paintbrush. I'm going to go just back to my 3D view, press F2. Now remember these are toggling between F3, F2 and F1. So there we could have that. And then um, with that, we could always go in and set something like a multiply, maybe um, Changing the color on that, so it can do lots of different things. So it can just ver make a variant on the different pieces of wood within something like this. Uh, so that's a polygon fill. So just really clicky, uh, quickly looking at that. Okay.